This is the house of John Rabe, Siemens China executive, German Nazi party deputy group leader. Rabe was among 22 Westerners who stayed after the Japanese invaded Nanjing to provide food and protection for a terrified populace. Rabe was thrust into leadership of the Nanjing Safety Zone thanks to Nazi Germany's alliance with the Empire of Japan. The zone centered around the foreign embassies and Nanking University. Rabe's diaries and pleas to Japanese officers recorded corpses with entry wounds on their backs every hundred yards. A reign of robbery, raping, and killing. You hear nothing but rape, he wrote. What you hear and see on all sides is the brutality and bestiality of the Japanese soldiers. Despite the safety zone, violence made its way in. But Rabe's efforts saved hundreds of thousands of Chinese civilians. His house here sheltered more than 650 alone. After the war, Rabe was an economic squalor. He sold his possessions but succumbed to malnutrition. It was not until 1948 that Nanjing learned of his plight dispatching money and monthly food packages. But Rabe died two years later, aged 67. His legacy transcends generations. His diaries offer a sliver of the city's wider suffering. John Rabe continues to be revered in this country where his tombstone rests as the Oscar Schindler of China.